The new safety requirement to have an armed guard on every campus in the state takes effect in September. But finding and paying for those officers is turning out to be a heavy lift for school districts in Texas. Get inside! The Uvalde mass shooting that left 19 students and two teachers dead is what pushed the Texas legislature to try to make schools safer. An armed officer is now required at each of the 9,000 campuses across the state. We have two things working against us. Number one is, as I said, funding, and number two uh, is not having enough qualified candidates uh, to fill these vacancies. The superintendent of the Round Rock School District says the new mandate is largely unfunded. <laughs> House Bill 3 provides each school with $15,000 to hire an armed officer whose salary will likely range from $50,000 to $80,000, depending on qualifications and experience. $15,000, that's what APD is offering right now as a sign-up bonus uh, per officer. Uh, and they are still struggling finding officers to fill these, the, their vacancies. Do you have the same rights as the kids who are considered an adult, yes or no? The Round Rock District estimates it will need to hire 30 additional armed officers to be able to place one on each campus. That search is happening at the same time a thousand other Texas school districts are hunting for qualified candidates. I think we're all going to be competing with each other. Uh, again, um, I doubt that we'll be able to fill every vacancies we all have. State Representative Vicki Goodwin saw this coming. That's a concern that I raised on the House floor about the fact that we're already short law enforcement and so what if they can't find people to fill the positions. School districts can ask the Texas Education Agency for a waiver if they claim a good cause exception and have an alternative plan. One option is to train a teacher or staff member to carry a gun on campus. I've heard from teachers, from parents, even from students who really don't want their teachers to be armed. Um, that's not their job, and there's so many opportunities for accidents to happen. Round Rock and other Texas school districts say they want more guidance from the TEA as school gets ready to start. They say they want to be able to protect teachers, students, and staff, but they have to be able to fund and fill those positions. Betty Cross, CBS Austin News. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.